Hello everyone, this is Venugopal. Today in this session, we are going to see variables in C. In my last lecture, we have covered the character set and then we have seen the keywords as well. If you are not clear with this concept, please go and watch my previous videos. Today in this session, we are focusing on the next component that is a variables. So let us see and start what exactly mean by a variables. So our topic is variables. Now first and most thing what exactly mean by variable. The name itself saying if I will divide this variable that means what the thing which is going to be changed during the program execution. So I can say the definition of variable is it is an entity which can be changed during program execution is called as variable. A very simple definition, right? An entity means any of the thing, right, which is going to be changed during a program execution. It is called as a variable. Then what is the use of this variable in our programming language? Without variables, you cannot even write a single program. These are used basically to store values. Variables are used to for what? To store values. Okay. Now, uh, first of all, before going for exact how these variables are look like, we will focus on what are the rules to declare these variables names. So, so rules for variable declaration. So number one. Number one rule is what? We can use alphabets or underscore or digits to declare a variable name. I'll not write right. For example, alphabets, digits or underscore, you can use any mixture combination of the variable, new, uh, variable name. Okay, no variable name will start with digits. You cannot start your variable name with digit. You can start variable name with either alphabets. Whenever I am saying alphabets, that means lowercase and uppercase letters. Okay, either by alphabets or you can start with what? Underscore. Okay, you cannot use, you cannot declare the variable name with the what? Digit. This is very important. Okay, that is that should not be considered as a, a valid variable name if you are declared with the digits. Starting, okay, in the middle, of course, you can use. Fourth one. You cannot give space between any variable name. You cannot give a space. If you want, want to separate or you can, if you want to give a space, then use underscore instead. This is valid. If you want to show the two, only one variable name, but you want to uh, uh, give a space between that variable name, then go for the underscore. Then fifth one is uppercase. You can say that a C programming language is a case sensitive language. That means what? Uppercase letters and lowercase letters must be distinct. That means what? If you are using small letters, then throughout the program use the same letters, right? Or else you have to give the 
whatever the variable name you are declaring you have to maintain that because the c programming language is a case sensitive language next one is no keyword can be used for variable name right a keyword already we have seen like integer float character etc you cannot use them because they are already having a different name okay so that is the reason why you cannot use that by uh, in the variable name seventh point is what there is basically there is no length specified there is no length specified for variable name but some compilers shows error if variable name exceeds eight characters depends on compiler always use variable names uh, with some meaningful names whenever you are using a variable name right that name should be have some proper meaning you should not take any random name for the variable declaration i will minimize some little size so that screen will be visible clear fine so i think these are the some of the very important rules that you must follow while going for the declaration of the variables in your programming language so let us have a brief summary what exactly mean by variable it is an entity which can be changed during a program execution is called as a variable and what is the main important purpose of this using variables is to store values okay because without variables you cannot perform a programs okay then we have seen some of the rules for variable declaration like alphabets or underscore or digits you can used in the variable declaration no variable will start with the digits if you want to start either you go for the alphabets or you can use a underscore underscore means exactly it's a symbol already for example like this this is the underscore okay it cannot give a space you cannot give a space between variable name if at all you want to give a space in between the variable name use underscore upper case letters lower case letters must be distinct that means what as a c programming language c programming is a case sensitive that is the reason why i have said ki the lower case letters and upper case letters must be distinct no keywords can be used for a variable name you cannot use as a variable name because the keywords already have their own meaning there is no length specified for the variable name but some of the compilers may show error if it exceeds eight characters so these are some of the important uh, what we can say rules that everyone must know before going for the variable declarations now what we will see we will see how to declare what is the syntax and all for that how to declare the variables syntax syntax of declaring variable name this is very important syntax plays a very important role syntax means what syntax means how you are going to use how you are going to uh use that particular variable name so syntax is what if i want to use an a variable name so syntax would be data type then variable underscore name okay this variable name this might be variable one name you can declare number of variables for example i'll just copy this paste variable 2 then dot 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 control v and up to you can give you can declare n number of variables 
okay now we will see one by one right what is this data type this is very important what is this data type this data type will tell to the compiler what kind of variable the user is going to use for example i am declaring one variable this one what is the type of this variable either it is an integer either it is a float either it is a character either it is an a uh, uh, structure or it will don't uh, bother about this all names whatever i have taken okay everything we are going to cover in our upcoming videos but you should understand for example just now to uh, the, uh, for the sake of your understanding what i will do i will declare one simple variable for example int and suppose i am using value that's all see this value is what it is a it is only i have used here what alphabets okay and the syntax is what in front of this variable we should declare what we should declare type so here type is what integer that means what this value variable can hold only integer type of numbers right uh, don't bother about what exactly mean by integer numbers because in my next video only i am going to cover the constants in that constants i am going to cover this integer part okay so this is one declaration this is one example of declaring variable so whenever i'll declare this kind of variable in your memory structure what exactly happen it will create some space it will create some space in the memory suppose we are having a memory see every everything will be deal with the memory only for example he, this is a huge memory of the program computer memory and it contains number of spaces like exactly like a human brain right we are having cells to store the information into our mind exactly in computer memory for example if your computer memory is like a um, uh, right 80 gb hard disk you know now right 80 gb so it's a space so in that particular space right somewhere i am reserving what this kind uh, to store some value i am reserving some space okay now this location name is what i have already given the location name is what value and this particular location has been created in some memory structure i don't know the memory structure but assume that the memory of this uh, location of this particular value variable is 2024 for example we will consider we don't know where it is going to be stored but you can print the address i will tell you later on how to print the address so the moment you will declare a kind of statement like this int value in the memory structure it is going to create the picture like this like this and in this box whatever the box it is box in the sense it is reserving some space so initially it contain what a garbage value initially it contains what a garbage value okay don't bother about this garbage value garbage value means what unwanted value garbage value means what unwanted value because the space has been created okay so some unwanted value coming and occupy that particular space okay the moment you will declare like for example in the next line i am declaring value is equals to suppose 100 now what i am doing i am assigning i am giving this 100 to whom to value now with the help of this assignment operator this equal to whatever you are seeing here this operator is called as what assignment operator and assignment operator always assign from right to left always remember okay the moment i will do like this what exactly happen in the memory in that particular value variable this garbage value will be override this garbage value will be override with what value the newly specified value that is nothing but 100 i hope you are getting right initially for example if you purchase any land in any city okay if you are declaring okay fine this land is mine so you never get that land will be very clear so right some unwanted garbage would be there after that whenever you start the construction you are overriding that particular garbage with your new constructions 
exactly similarly whenever you are declaring a variable whenever you are declaring a variable it initially contains garbage value but the moment you will assign like the value now that particular location will consisting what you are giving value providing value so this is what how exactly we are going to declare a variable in upcoming videos i will tell you exactly how to use the variables how to access the memory locations everything don't worry about that okay you cannot declare for example this is the right declaration of the variable right suppose if i want to declare like one more int i cannot declare eight area this is not the variable because already we have seen already we have seen the what variable uh, rules you cannot start your variable with the digits so this is not valid suppose i am declaring int area 8 will this be valid yes this is valid because i have started my variable name with a alphabet a and afterwards i have used what eight here digit that is allowed suppose i am declaring for example int suppose total i want to use only one variable like total length but i have given the space it's not allowed okay but if i want to show some space go for the underscore okay so first one is not valid this is valid this is of course valid so that's it right we have seen a very simple uh, uh, way of understanding what exactly mean by the variables then we have seen the rules of variable declaration what is the purpose of variable then we have seen how to declare the syntax of variable declaration and also we have seen once we will declare the variable name how the memory structure is going to be created inside the memory we will cover up this all data type don't bother about this everything we are going to cover in our programming next upcoming videos i hope you are getting uh, we will meet in the next video uh, with the next concept that is constants we will see after that then uh, this box will be over we have covered keywords variables now we left with the constant once we will learn this constant that means we are able to write down the instructions and once we are writing the instructions then ultimately we are building what a program so i hope you are getting thanks for watching we will meet with a in the next video until then bye bye thank you